I'm Jeff Oak, and welcome to Taking Care of Your Business, Conversations to Strengthen Small and Mid-Sized Companies. Angela Duckworth has made the observation that enthusiasm is common, but endurance is rare. So much is happening in our world that it's hard to escape the feeling of chaos, turbulence, and uncertainty. These are tough times for sure. And when we take the long view, the reality of human history is all about the tough times. And during such times, it's endurance that carries the day. Jim Collins has written best-selling business classics like Good to Great, Built to Last, and How the Mighty Fall, based on decades of research of the most successful companies in the world. He was recently interviewed by Chief Executive Magazine on this question, how do great leaders navigate tough times? According to Collins, great leaders do four things during tough times. First, they have self-control and discipline in a world that's out of control. They have a steady heartbeat, an unrelenting march, no matter the circumstance. This heartbeat march may center around technology or innovation or people. It may focus on profitability or growth or cost. It doesn't matter what it is as long as that march is aligned with the company's purpose. Second, great companies do two different things simultaneously. And on the face of things, they sound contradictory. On one hand, they place really big bets. And on the other hand, they protect their flanks from downside risk. The bets they make are not wild guesses. They are grounded in data and experience. They also protect their flanks by assuming that really bad stuff is going to happen. They have conservative balance sheets. They have a high cash to assets ratio. And they build shock absorbers across the entire organization. It's a paradox. They go big and they build shock absorbers. Third, they recognize that the most important hedge against chaos and uncertainty is the quality of their people. People who can adapt to whatever is thrown at them. Two practical things leaders can do in this regard. First, make a list of all the people in your organization who surprised you on the upside with their leadership during COVID. COVID exposed the leadership capabilities of people or the lack thereof. Use this time to identify the strong ones. The other exercise is to write down how many key leadership roles you have. And by the way, it's not limited to your executive team. And then ask, how many of these roles have what Collins calls level five leaders? Level five leaders have a combination of humility, relentless determination, and ambition that is focused on the organization, not themselves. And it's not just a matter of finding level five leaders as if they were needles in a haystack. It's about building them. And the fourth thing that great leaders do during tough times is to step up to the brutal facts that stand in the way of accomplishing your company's vision. Some leaders are afraid that if they dwell on the brutal facts, it will somehow demotivate people. In fact, the opposite is true. The best people in your organization already know the brutal facts. And when you ask them to tell you what they are, they get energized because they want to confront them and overcome them. What are the top five brutal facts facing your organization? Time to step up. Thanks for joining. Until next time, I'm Jeff Oak. 